What's up guys, JDog back from Seacoast and today we're going to be going through how you can create your own custom commands using your Multicraft server panel. Now for most features as you probably know with Java you need to add a plugin or potentially a mod. However, using the custom commands you actually can do many other things that you can just program without having to add anything. Such as warning the players or giving the players a bad effect if they type in any bad words such as giving them blindness and telling them do not swear on the server. You can create custom commands to set it back to daytime or another time or potentially even the custom spawn word to teleport you back to spawn again without any plugins. Well, sounds pretty good to me, so let's get into the video how to do it. So once you get started with the Seekhost server and you are using the Multicraft control panel, you can simply come over to advanced and then come over to commands. Here it's going to give you the number of commands or the commands that you have already got preset on the server. However, you might have noticed the create command on the top left before. By clicking on here, you can name a command, give it a prerequisite role in case you don't want anybody to use it and you want a certain user group to use it. You can have a prerequisite command, so this will only run after this particular command. Set what you want the actual command to be when they type it in chat. Give them a response, which will then get whispered to them. And then the actual command that you're going to run. So let's go through the three that I have set up already. So let's start with the anti-swear. Here I've started off by calling it the actual name, so I'm going to call this anti-swear. This is going to be so I can check what the command is and this doesn't get shown to any players. Next up, I've chosen the prerequisite role. I want this to work for every single player. They don't have to have a role. Again, for the prerequisite, this would be something if this command was to be run, then afterwards we can then do the custom command. So I don't want this to work because I want this to happen if anybody types in my bad word. Here is going to be where you actually insert the bad word. Obviously, I'm not going to write any bad words on here because it's on YouTube. However, if you have certain bad words that have been used, just make sure that you put the word into here. This doesn't need any forward slashes, brackets. It's simply got to be the words that you want typed into the chat bar. As soon as this get typed, then the command will be run. Next up, we can choose what the response will be. This will usually get whispered to the player, so the player will get whispered, do not swear on the server. Next up, we go to the actual run command. This is the command that you're going to make once somebody does write that into chat. Unfortunately, it's not quite as easy as effect at p, give at p. We've got to use an execute for this to execute it onto the player. So for this case, we're going to be doing an execute as at p, the closest player, at at s, the actual player himself, and then we're going to run the command. So run, and then that's where you're going to put your command afterwards. So in this case, we want to give the player something bad because they used a swear word. This can be used with everything, and you can also give poison or anything like that. In this case, I'm going to give them blindness for 20 seconds. So this is going to be an effect give at p, the closest player, so that's who we're going to be running it to. I know it can get a bit confusing with the at p, at s, at p. However, following this guide right here is going to work pretty well for the player that's actually typed in the command. And next up, I'm going to choose the effect that I'm going to give them, which is going to be Minecraft Blindness. We're going to do it for 10 seconds and for a strength of 20. Once you're happy with your command, just go ahead and save, go over to the console, and then you can press reload to reload the server and make sure that these are all working. Next up, let's try out going to spawn. So go to spawn over here, which I've created again using the create new command, and that was the top one here, so not create default command, but create new command. Here I've named mine go to spawn so I can see what command it is on my list of custom commands. Next up for the required role, I'm going to set this to none because I want every user to be able to teleport back to spawn. The prerequisite, I'm going to leave as none, again because I don't want any of these to be ran before or I don't need any of these to be ran before for them to use this command. Next up, and you might want to change this because otherwise you might find that people might just type spawn and get teleported back, but give it a unique name which you can tell your players to use in the chat. Perhaps something like spawn me, which isn't very likely to be typed in accidentally, so if they do type this in, they'll then get teleported. Next up, the response which you'll get whispered, and you don't have to type something in, but I usually tend to put you've just been teleported, so they know that they've just done the action. So that's going to be execute as at p at at s run, and then the command itself. In this case, tp at p, and then the coordinates of where your spawn are. Save reload on your console, and then this will take effect straight away. Just make sure that this actually is where your spawn is. Don't copy my coordinates, just stand where your spawn is, press F3, check your coordinates, and then put the coordinates in there. Finally, let's check out how to set day. I've just named this set day so I know what it's called on my custom command list. I don't need any required role so anybody can use it. I have no prerequisite because I want anybody to be able to use this at any time. And in the chat, I've chosen this to say set day. So if anybody types into chat without any forward slashes, set day, this will then go to the morning. 
it will then whisper to them good morning and the actual command is time set day because this doesn't have to be run at anybody it's run at the server so that's simply time set day if you wanted one for night you can just change this to night so on and so forth again once you're done press save go to your console and then type in reload and press enter so thanks for watching the video guys for any more tutorials like this don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you get notified as soon as we do post our tutorials and if you are looking for a cheap minecraft server yourself head on over to seacoast.co where you can grab yourself a package to suit you save money and get playing instantly and if you want to take a look at the dashboard itself before you actually get started from our homepage, scroll down and go down to the virtual dashboard from here click on new virtual dashboard and you can take a look at a video preview of every single area of our dashboard and how it works or of course ask the live chat support for more information